Here's Suzette Miller with a breaking news alert from Southern California. This week, hundreds of law enforcement officers marched through a driving rain to pay their final respects to a fallen hero, 30-year-old Sheriff's Deputy Maria Cecilia Rosa. Police in this middle-class section of Long Beach, California, are in a desperate search for answers. They are baffled as to who would gun down Deputy Rosa in the driveway of her friend's house. A newspaper delivery man found her lying in the driveway Tuesday, March 28th. Deputy Rosa was off duty and not in uniform that morning. Cops say she was loading up the trunk of her car when someone approached her from behind. Investigators believe she spun around to face her attackers, who then opened fire, hitting her twice. Cops say it appears to be a botched robbery. We think these two individuals might have been riding around the neighborhood, looking either for a car to break into or somebody to rob when they came across Maria. Maria Cecilia Rosa came to the United States from Sonora, Mexico, when she was 13. Always independent and wanting to help others, she found her true calling in law enforcement six years ago when she became a Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputy. She was so proud to be a sheriff. Oh my God, she was really proud, and we were too. I have a very clear message to the assassins who participated in this. We will not stop. We will not give up until we track you down. Police are looking for two possible suspects seen here on blurry bank surveillance photos. Witnesses say these Hispanic males in their late teens or early 20s were seen riding bikes through the neighborhood where just minutes later, Deputy Rosa was shot. One of the best clues detectives have to go on is this bicycle. They say it was left behind by the suspects near the crime scene. It's actually a kid's bike made by Giant, and the model is called Frantic. Long Beach police are determined to find Deputy Rosa's killers and bring them to justice. But they need you to make that happen. If you can help solve the murder of Los Angeles County Sheriff's Deputy Maria Cecilia Rosa, call our hotline right now at 1-800-CRIME-TV. Last week, we were the first to announce the newest member of the FBI's 10 Most Wanted list, Michael Astorga. The feds say this little punk with a gun is responsible for two murders. Well, tonight, we have another big announcement. That punk is toast. There was an officer down call uh, with shots fired. We go to work every night knowing that that's a possibility. Hands on the steering wheel. And you hope and pray it never happens. Unfortunately, that's just what happened outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico on March 22nd. Deputy James McGrain told his dispatcher that he was pulling over a pickup truck. Then his radio went dead. There was silence for about five minutes. And then there was a 911 call that was made. Someone living nearby had heard two shots. You can't describe what it's like to look down and see that tan uniform that all of us wear laying in the middle of that road. And it just hurts to think that he didn't even have a chance. And that's a, that's a scar that every single person in this department wears right now. The frantic investigation got an early break when cops say they found out who was behind the murder. Michael Astorga. He's a guy they were already looking for. In November of 2005, cops say Astorga gunned down a man in a simple dispute over a lowrider car. We believe that murder is the reason he shot Deputy McGrain. He didn't want to go back to the joint. Cops were quickly on the prowl for the accused trigger-happy cop killer, but they feared he'd bolted the area. So they called in the big guns, the FBI, and the Bureau turned to us when it decided to name Astorga to the top ten. Last Saturday night, investigators fielded call after call at our hotline. 
this, this is something. Among them, one from a woman in Juarez, Mexico, who said she'd seen Astorga just the day before. Building on this and other investigative leads, agents began to focus in on Juarez. And it turned out it was the exact right place to focus. Leads directed Mexican authorities right to Astorga. And they had him in handcuffs before the weekend was over. Cameras caught up with Astorga as he arrived at the Juarez jail. Where I was staying at the motel, and he woke me up in my sleep and put me in handcuffs and grabbed me over here. Cops say they found an arsenal of guns inside Astorga's motel room. Thankfully, no one was hurt when they took him down. The accused cop killer said he had no idea why he was arrested. He claims he was simply on vacation. Do you know that you're being looking for by the police in Mexico? No, sir, I don't. No? No, sir. There's your picture over, uh, all over the, the states. For what? I have... Do you know something about that? No. Mur murders? What? Murders? Murders? Yeah. No. Something about a sheriff? Huh? You had a problem with a sheriff, sheriff in New Mexico? Uh -uh, no problem with nobody. No. Thanks to great police work and some really good tips, agents had no problem tracking Michael Astorga down. Early Tuesday morning, he walked across the border at El Paso, Texas, and into the hands of the FBI. As I mentioned earlier, we were the first to announce Astorga as being listed with the FBI's Most Wanted. And of course, it's really great he got nailed so fast. Good work by the Bureau. In the coming weeks, we'll be announcing another new member to the FBI's 10 Most Wanted list. Make sure you're watching. Now, the manhunt has more work to do, so stay with us. We'll be right back. Fairfield County, Ohio Sheriff's Deputy Ethan Collins was killed in a car crash. He was on his way to help another officer in an emergency. Deputy Collins served with the department for six years as part of the Mounted Patrol. When not in uniform, he loved carpentry and watching movies. He leaves behind a wife, a daughter, and a son.